So you hold a blow dryer in front of your face and you inhale with your nose and it kills all the viruses in your nose. While it's true that this virus does not survive well in temperatures above 140 degrees Fahrenheit, please do not use any kind of heating technology to heat up your sinuses to that temperature. It will cause more damage than any potential benefit, of which we have evidence for zero. Hey, I'm Dr. Mikhail Varshavsky, but most know me as Dr. Mike. I'm a board certified family medicine physician. You know, people are saying a lot of things on the internet about COVID-19. There's a lot of bad science, a lot of incorrect medical information. So I'm here to see what people are saying and set the record straight. Here's why I don't buy into the 5G conspiracy theory. In order to put any kind of medical theory out there, you have to have a plausible mechanism, basically a mechanism by which this can potentially happen. Right now, there is no plausible mechanism that EMF, electromagnetic field waves, can be causing worsening COVID-19 symptoms. So to me, this is a no-go from the start. I've seen some pretty extraordinary claims about people recommending eating two kilograms of garlic in order to prevent COVID-19. That is not a medically accurate statement. Uh, I think garlic is overall a healthy food that you can consume, but eating two kilograms of it, definitely not advised, and there is no proof that it prevents or treats COVID-19. There have been quite a few scientific research articles that have proven that the coronavirus can survive on certain surfaces for hours to a couple of days. Now, if you're getting a package that's transferred between multiple temperatures, multiple levels of humidity, by the time it reaches you, it is very unlikely for there to be any viable virus left to infect you. That being said, play it safe. If you get a package from anywhere, China, US, anywhere in the world, wash your hands after handling. Antibacterial wipes are generally reserved to be used on solid surfaces, not human skin, let alone sensitive human skin that's found on the mouth. So a complete no-go to put them on your face. Current research about the COVID-19 virus shows us that the virus does actually begin spreading in your upper respiratory pathways first and then moves its way to the lower respiratory tracts. That being said, there is no evidence that we as humans with our behaviors can modulate what the virus does in our upper airways before it potentially spreads lower. This is actually why SARS-CoV-2, the virus responsible for causing COVID-19, is so much more different and problematic than the original SARS virus. The original SARS virus went right to the lower respiratory tract, caused symptoms, and allowed us to identify patients who were sick so that we can contain the virus. With SARS-CoV-2, we have so many patients having upper respiratory symptoms that are quite mild that we don't know who's sick and we're having trouble isolating them. And as a result, the virus spreads much faster. No, this is not a, a medical grade mask by any means. What we wear in the hospital is called an N95 respirator. It's a specific type of mask that fits perfectly on the face. We actually go through a fit test procedure to make sure that it fits well, and that prevents the coronavirus from getting into your airway. When you wear a cloth covering, a diaper covering, even a surgical mask covering, what you're doing is you're limiting the virus or respiratory droplets from leaving your mouth and entering the environment, potentially infecting everybody else. That's actually why the CDC has recommended people cover their faces, not to protect them, but to limit the spread of the virus, at least theoretically. First of all, you should be socially distancing yourself. That means no public pools, hot tubs, or spas. That being said, the CDC has put out guidance that there's currently no evidence that COVID-19 can spread to humans through pools, hot tubs, or spas. The way I'm gonna handle fruit, I'm gonna dump it in some soapy water here. Despite the popularity of this well-intentioned video, it is not currently advisable to be washing your produce with soap. Why? Because most of this produce is porous, meaning it absorbs some of that soap, and then once you eat it, it can cause GI discomfort, nausea, vomiting, even diarrhea. This fact actually originated from a chain letter that implicated Stanford. Stanford then put out a press release saying they had nothing to do with it and that it's inaccurate. If you can't hold your breath for 10 seconds, that could potentially be a sign of any medical respiratory problem. If you can hold your breath for 10 seconds, it doesn't necessarily rule out COVID-19 either. 
While mosquitoes are responsible for spreading some illnesses to humans like Zika and West Nile virus, currently there is no evidence that mosquitoes can spread COVID-19. While I routinely recommend nasal saline sprays for my patients who suffer with allergy symptoms or perhaps congestion, there is no evidence to show that these nasal saline sprays also treat or prevent COVID-19. The recommendation from the CDC is quite clear. You should use any available cloth covering to cover your face when going outside to limit potentially the spread of COVID-19. Now you're not covering your face to give you added protection, so don't use it as a false sense of security. What you're doing is you're protecting others around you. Again, potentially. Currently, there is no evidence of pets getting humans sick but there is evidence of humans getting their cats sick. So if you are experiencing COVID-19 symptoms and you just aren't sure, do your best to keep your cat away to reduce the likelihood of getting them sick. This is essentially modern day snake oil. MMS is industrial grade bleach. There's no evidence that it can cure or prevent COVID-19. In fact, the CDC and FDA have been quite clear about this. There has been no supplement, no ingredient, and even no medical intervention that has been proven to treat or prevent COVID-19. I do recommend for all my patients to stay well hydrated throughout the day to keep their immune system optimized. There is no evidence that drinking every 15 minutes has any specific benefit. In fact, if you're drinking every 15 minutes, that could potentially cause new problems. If you enjoy drinking a cup of green tea, go ahead and have a cup of green tea. There's no evidence to say that it will cure, treat, or prevent COVID-19. But then again, I'm a huge tea lover, so I do recommend it to some of my patients. I believe this claim started as a result of a tweet by someone from the French Health Ministry. However, the idea that COVID-19 symptoms are worsened by ibuprofen is really theoretical in nature. We do not have evidence supporting this theory yet. However, if you are worried about it and you need to take a medication to lower your temperature, there's always the available option of acetaminophen, brand name Tylenol. Currently, there is no definitive answer to this question. However, the prevailing thought amongst leading researchers in the field, including Dr. Fauci, is that you will get some immunity after clearing COVID-19, but it's unclear how long that immunity will last. I hope those answers were helpful. Thanks so much for watching. I usually sign off my videos by saying stay happy and healthy, but during the COVID pandemic, let's do something different. Stay alert, not anxious.